Cabbage Patch Babies and Orphan Trains. I've got quite a theory for you, so hear me out. Cabbage Patch Babies, that's basically, have you ever heard of a homunculus? Homunculus is like, they have figured out ways they can grow people out of the ground. Um, it's pretty disgusting, but it's a real thing. And so they figured out how to grow people in uh, basically a, in a cabbage pod. It's like the same as the pod people. And, um, but they had to convince everybody that the world was a globe, of course. So that all ties into Tartaria. They wiped out everybody. First, they taught all the elders. They tried to get them, get them to accept the fact that the earth was a globe. Some did. And I think the ones who didn't were killed. And then along with everybody in the population, and then they repopulated. Uh, there was the incubators and the uh, inf infinit infinitoriums, infantoriums of the, uh, the uh, I'm blanking out, it's the, uh, the world fairs, the infantoriums of the world fairs. And they would sell these babies, um, live babies, and nobody knew where they came from. Um, so like Jerry Seinfeld said his dad was in uh, one of the babies that came from the world fair uh, incubator. But so they used these orphan trains from like 1850 to 1924 to like repopulate all of America with children. That's why you see pictures of children trying to operate these giant pieces of machinery that obviously are not built for people their size. They're built for adults at the least, if not something bigger than that. And uh, so once they were able to wipe out everybody who still knew the truth about the shape of the earth, they could start their new education program and uh, grow up a whole new America and uh, where a hundred percent of them when it began agreed the earth was a ball. In every big city in America there has been a fire that destroyed the entire city at some point in the last 150 years. Just google it. So first anyone who was a Tartarian, which is a blanket term I understand, was killed and then they tried to destroy every piece of architecture that proved what they were doing so that they could try to convince people that technology wasn't better before you came along. And then they grew a whole new society and they fed them the lies that they wanted them to believe. We are now at the point in our civilization where technology has severely outpaced the lie. So it's very easy now to figure out that Earth is flat, but we're so locked into our programming that it's very difficult to question your reality. Once people do question the reality, consider the possibilities, then they can open their mind and start activating their consciousness. That's when you have the power to make a decision against authority if it's bad for you.